Hello everybody. Hello everybody. My video crash. The other one. So yeah. My app crash. Yeah, here's the solar lantern that I'm reviewing. So yeah, this one has solar panels. I would not recommend it charging a smartphone on it. You know, the smartphone, the modern smartphone has at least more than 3,000 milliamps, or if it's too low on power. So yeah, it says you can charge a smartphone on it, and this is what the cords it comes with. It's called a solar energy kit with torch and lighting, easy power, environmental save, and money efficient. This is the number. So this is the, the instructions. It's all a little bit beat up because they're trying to force it in the mailbox. Here's its specs. Um, here, I don't know if it'll focus. There you go. All that. Um, I mean, it would kind of really matter. It would not matter what battery size you put in it. I mean, it didn't come with the cable that charged with, but that's okay. Because I got my own cables. So yeah, this is what it would charge. I'd rather charge something small on it. So, yeah. There's its codes and all that. So, yeah. It's, um... See, this is when it switches on. Whenever you turn on... Oh. It'll turn green whenever you turn it on. And it also will turn red whenever it gets solar charging. So, yeah, to note, this thing is bright. Because it's full. A little bit have enough power for a while. So, yeah. So yeah, to clarify, do not try to charge a smartphone on this because it does not have a big battery. I will not do power pass charge, like having this charge at the same time while it's charging a smartphone because this part right here will get hot. So the solar panels are good, decent. I got this at June. No, wait. Jerry Jerry. I got it just at June, June 20, June 20, 2020. This is where I got it from the mail. It's, it's on Facebook. It's on my Facebook profile. So yeah, Facebook profile. And I would not recommend it charging on from this Bluetooth speaker. Try to charge this Bluetooth speaker because it pulls a lot of power. And I think this is a maybe 60 watt Bluetooth speaker. I don't know. Probably lower, but yeah. Maybe 60 watt. I don't know. But here's all the stuff that I'm going to charge it with to this. And then try to drain this solar Bluetooth speaker. It's got three bars. Charging another Bluetooth speaker. This is the example right here. Charging from this thing to the other Bluetooth speaker. I would only charge something small, like say for this, to this more suitable but it would charge a phone but it will only charge halfway because if it's not getting enough sun I would have to do a test later on it but yeah I'd rather have a power bank with it or something close close by for this thing to work but yeah this maybe would be able to charge from this so yeah or maybe charge use you know this Bluetooth speaker to charge a Bluetooth headphone so yeah this is what I'm going to use all this right here to charge from this. And it's got a battery display. It has two bar, uh, three bars. It's running on three bars, so yeah. And this one does not display any battery life, like it displays any battery level. Just to let you all know. The only way you can tell if the battery is running low is by this, like how bright this is. You know how bright this part is. So yeah. There is an instruction booklet in here, though. I hope no. I, th I put it away, actually. Yeah, I put it away. So it's not in there. I'll have to show y'all later. So yeah. It's in the drawer. The instruction booklet. So yeah. There's the review. Got this at... At June 20, 2020. So yeah. That's when the delivery came. It's on Facebook, so yeah. It's pretty good handy to use. You can also replace the batteries. In case the batteries get bad, you have to go onto the website. The size. Size is on there, so yeah. Battery size. 
they could display it somewhere on the box. But here's the, the number right there for the, the unit itself. Um, it's just saying what battery size it is. But here's the capacity, which I don't think that's true. I wouldn't believe the, compa uh, the compa battery capacity, but there's the estimate times. Um, the materials, of course, is plastic. There is some metal. And it says easy power. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's a pretty good unit. It's pretty good. And I can actually charge my phone on it. It will not die as easy as this one will. Charging a phone, smartphone on it, this one will die very soon, very fast soon. But this one can actually charge a phone about, like, halfway, depending on how much power you have on your smartphone. But if you have a little bit of power, say, like, 80 or 70 uh, percent, this will be good to go for you to charge a phone that's has it a reasonable power left. If it's like 20 percent low on your smartphone, this will give you like a certain amount depending how much you use on your phone. But yeah, anyway, just not not recommended to charge on smartphones. Just maybe some small stuff. I mean, depending on how good it does it. But anyway, anyways, end of recording now. Goodbye, and as always. Stay safe and capture a lot of power as much as you can, ladies and gentlemen, and harvest it as much as you can, ladies and gentlemen. So, bye bye, and stay safe, ladies and gentlemen, from the zombie apocalypse. Ah, uh, this will be suitable right here for it. Bam! Yeah, okay, I'm kidding. <laughs> anyway, that that is no joke. As that is no joke. It's like a brick. So it's tough. Or like a tank. And it hurts, no joke. But anyway, anyway, stay safe. This is pretty cool to use. I haven't tested, you know, the how good it will charge with solar. But anyway, bye bye now. This will end at 7 minutes and 20 seconds. Bye bye now. And enjoy.